off, and I'm 56 years old. You're 56 years old? I'm 56 years old. You look like you're about, I mean, you look like you're 30. Do you, Michelle, do you think 50 is the new 30? 50 is definitely the new 30. Tell me why you say that. Well, I live in a, in a four-floor uh, four floor walk-up. Okay, that's about 55 steps. I do it every day. I take my laundry up and down the stairs. I take my grocery up and down the stairs. I run around. I have a lot of energy. I still wash my floors on my hands and knees. I go home. I cook meals every day. I have a lot of energy. Tell me about why you think you've got all this energy. Uh, I, think, I think diet and lifestyle has a lot to do with it, okay, and it's your mindset as well. I became a vegetarian, first of all, in the 1970s before it was well known, before there was any organic meat on the market, and I quit eating meat at the time because there wasn't any organic meat. I was just doing chicken and fish, and I became a juicer and got into yoga, and um, I select my doctors very carefully. I kind of mix Eastern and Western medicine together. I'm very smart. I search things out. So... So you think that if you really take care of your health? The health. That's everything. Yes. Talk to me about your heart. Do you take care of your heart? I take care of my heart. When I turned 50s, I got myself a heart specialist. Why did you do that? Because you know most people don't. Well, I did because I had a um, mitral uh, prolapse and I was concerned about that. And so I figured I, um, I'll make him my primary care physician and that's what I did. And so I see him like every two months. He has me in the office and we do all kinds of tests and we do things. And, you know, yeah, I watch my, through him I watch my cholesterol, I watch which runs in my family, um, high blood pressure and diabetes. So, I'm, you know, we're watching everything. And so I, I don't have any of that. Because you're like one step ahead of the game. I'm one step ahead of the game. I'm ten steps ahead of the game. You really are. You're, you're like you're a knockout about this. So I want you to tell me if you had three bits of advice for mm -hmm. women hitting 50 who look at you and go, Oh my God, look at her, she's 56, she's yeah. awesome. What would, what, what would you tell them to do? Three things. Um, I would say, don't get mad with me. Quit eating a lot of meat, okay? A lot of water, and you have to, you have to supplement. You have to supplement. Vitamins. Well, yeah, with vitamin, like, uh, vitamins, and um, um, you could do like um, herbs and things like that as well. I do a lot of herbs and you know, of teas or just or herbs or fresh, um, I do a lot of fresh, uh, I'm messing up now. Yeah, hey, uh, you're fine. Cool. What do you got? Fresh um, juices. Yeah, fresh juices. Um, what's spices? Like every like turmeric and stuff like that? All that stuff is fresh that I do, yeah. So mm -hmm. you think then that other people can look like this if they just take all the shit out of their diets? Definitely. And oh, I, I don't do any fast food at all. I can't remember. I can't. Fast food, I ate fast food in the 1960s and 70s. It's changed. To, I don't do any fast food, and I don't eat anything fried. It's rare. What do you think when you see the people who are your age mm -hmm. and my age yeah. and are doing all these horrible things to their body? What do you want to say to them? Get conscious. That's what it is, okay? You have to get conscious. You have to not believe what we're taught, but research yourself and use your smarts. Because I think that um, food um, is it's a big business now. You know, we went from farming to agriculture, and that's big business. It's about the, the, the uh, expanding the, 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 um, the, um, the life of the food on the shelf. And I read ingredients. If I see something with 100 ingredients, I'm not going anywhere near it. Well, you're terrific. I mean, you look totally like you're in your 30s, and I hope people listen to you because you've got a lot of wisdom. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.